Hey there, it's your Avon Lady, Chris Arnold, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to come out with you. Um, you know, we're starting 2023, it's beginning at, beginning of a new year, and um, just wanted to share a few ways that you can refresh your makeup look so that you can, um, you know, kind of change things up for the new year. Um, so the first way that you can go about changing up your makeup look is uh, maybe try a new type of foundation. So maybe you've been using a liquid foundation, you wanna try maybe a cream foundation, or you've been using a cream and you wanna try a powder, but change up your, your foundation formula and see how you like. Um, so that's one of those little tweaks you can make um, to freshen up your makeup look or freshen up your application technique. Maybe make it a little easier for you, make it quicker to, to get through in the morning. Um, my favorite way to refresh your makeup look is try new colors, uh, especially if you tend to, um, to always wear the same colors. If you don't have like a selection of colors, you always tend to wear the same colors. And especially if you're, um, you know, in the, the old school rut of only black eyeliner and nude eyeshadow and, um, you know, black mascara, try some fun new colors. Eyeliner is a fantastic way to add a nice fun pop of color to your look um, and still keep the rest of it fairly neutral. You know, you don't have to do anything really wild. Just change, you know, one, add a little bit of color somewhere. So either some new eyeshadow colors, um, some new eyeliner colors, or even a new lipstick color. So if you're always, you know, if always been classic red, maybe try some great pinks or some nudes or some berries. Um, or if you've always been in... The nude shades, maybe try something in a fun, bright color. Now, don't do bright eyeliner and bright lipstick. You know, pick one. Don't, <laughs> don't make it too drastic um, of a change. Um, and, and again, especially eyeliner, especially if, you know, um, I know I've got some friends that they are diehard solid black eyeliner. That's all they ever wear. You can get a really fun, softer look um, using even just a brown or a gray um, or even like a green or a purple to just soften up that, that look and make it not um, as dramatic, not as sometimes harsh as the black eyeliner can be. Um, and you can also try something new altogether. Maybe you've never tried using highlighter or contour or, um, you know, changing how you apply your existing products. Maybe you've done always... Um, just a standard, you know, medium shade on the lid and a little bit lighter shade under the brow. Um, you can add in that third color in the crease and the outside corner. Or maybe you've always done the very elaborate makeup look, like where you've done three, four shades of eyeshadow on the eyes. Maybe try something simpler to refresh your look. Maybe go for something with only one or two shades um, or even, you know, using a different formula, again, like you do with the foundation, using a different formula of eyeshadow. So if you've always used powder eyeshadows, try some of the new liquid eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, gel eyeshadows. They've got some great color, some great color payoff, like they, they have really nice, um, you know, not, not necessarily bold, because it could still be a nude or a neutral color or a soft color, um, but just they've got more color payoff to them. And, um, and they're very, again, refreshing your, um, your application just as much as refreshing your color. You know, the new, um, you know, eyeshadow sticks, eyeshadow liquids, eyeshadow gels, you can often apply those very, very quickly and just be on with your day. You know, just do a solid color and, uh, and get a really nice, um, beautiful look um, out of that. So, you know, you can try adding highlighter, add a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks or on the temples and the, the nose, places that you want to look a little bit um, brighter, a little bit more like they've been um, sun-kissed. Or even just try changing up um, where you apply your product. So, like I said, you know, changing up um, where you put your eyeshadows. You could also maybe change up where you do your blush. If you're an old school, um, you know, blush on the apple of the cheek, maybe try more of a go along um, to give the cheeks a bit of a lift. Um, so, you know, just look for something different to do. And again, it doesn't have to be a major change. Just pick one little thing just to kind of give your look a refresh, kind of um, make it feel um, fresh and new and um, like something different for the new year. Do remember 
that if you have gotten used to a specific look, especially over many, many years, if you've been doing the same makeup look, if you've been doing the same makeup look since high school, I guarantee you, you're going to think you look funny when you try something new. Um, you know, so it, it takes some getting used to when you try that, that new look. You get used to the way you look with the techniques and the colors and the products that you've been using. And when you try something new, sometimes it looks a little odd, looks a little scary, but just give it some time, you'll get used to it, and then you can decide if you really like um, that change. Also, absolutely take advantage of the virtual try-on tool on my online store. You can try on our lipsticks, our eyeshadows, our eyeliners, our foundations, our blushes. Um, almost all of our um, cosmetic products are available on the try-on tool. So you can try out those new colors. So if you want to do, um, you know, go from classic red to a pink lipstick, but you're not sure what kind of pink is right for you, you can play with those colors and see which ones um, which ones you're drawn to, which ones you, you kind of like the way they look. And um, if you're wondering like where to get ideas about what to change up, like if you want to change up the, the way you do your eye, eyeshadow, your eye makeup, and you're looking for a new look, but you don't really know what you want, check out beauty magazines, beauty websites, um, videos and pictures on social media. I tell you, if you go to YouTube and put in makeup tutorials, you are going to find somebody teaching you how to apply, apply makeup in any way you could possibly want. Um, and then pick a look that look that, that is attractive to you. And um, if you find that, you know, you find a look that you like, but you're not really sure what products you need um, to achieve it, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Um, so I hope this um, has given you some ideas for how you can um, give your makeup a little refresh for the new year. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon.